Hey everyone, this is Bradley Bush again with another algebra video. Today we're talking about function symmetry. Our to-do list. First off, we will talk about the three types of symmetry. X-axis, Y-axis, and symmetry about the origin. Then we'll talk about three algebraic tests to identify each of these different types of symmetry. And then we will show three examples, one for each of the types of symmetry. I also will put the different parts of the video with timestamps in the video description, so if you want to skip ahead, you're more than welcome. Let's start. Here are the three types of symmetry. We have symmetry about the x-axis. So this x-axis functions as a mirror, and whatever happens above the x-axis is mirrored exactly below. So equations that exhibit x-axis symmetry are not technically functions because they don't pass the vertical line test. You can see that I could put a vertical line right through here and we're touching more than one spot. So they're not considered functions, but that it is a type of symmetry that exists. So we talk about it here in this section. The next type of symmetry is symmetry about the y-axis. So y-axis is right here and again whatever happens to the right of the y-axis is mirrored exactly identically on the left of the y-axis. Functions that exhibit y-axis symmetry are called even functions. The third type of symmetry is symmetry about the origin. So the origin is here at 0, 0 at the coordinate 0, 0. So if I have a point in quadrant 1, say quadrant, say the point is 1, 1, and that's this point right here. If I go across the origin, there should be a corresponding point, which is the negative of each of these coordinates. So I have 1 and 1. If I make both of those negative, I have negative 1, comma, negative 1. That point would be right here. And that point, again, is on the curve. And I can connect these two dots with a line that passes through the origin, 0, 0. So if I can do this with any point on the curve, then the function exhibits symmetry about the origin. And functions with this behavior and this characteristic are called odd functions. All right, let's move on to tests for the different types of symmetry. Let's start with the y-axis symmetry test. So again, we have the y-axis and whatever happens on the right is mirrored on the left. So the test for this is to plug in a negative x for x and then do some algebra and see what you get. If after you plug in the negative x for the x, if you simplify and you get the exact same function back, then we have y-axis symmetry. So let's, let's see if we have that here. So instead of, here's our function, y equals x squared plus 1. Instead of having an x right here, what we're going to do is we're going to, going to erase it and we're going to put neg negative x. So we substituted negative x in for x. Now let's do some simplification. That negative x squared just becomes x squared and we have the plus 1. So the question is, are these two the same? If they are the same, then the function that we have exhibits y-axis symmetry. If they aren't the same, then there is no y-axis symmetry. And you can see they're identical. They both are x squared plus 1. So we have y-axis symmetry. Let's take a look at x-axis symmetry. Here's the x-axis again. What happens above is perfectly mirrored below. The test for x-axis symmetry is to plug in a negative y for y and then simplify and see if you get the same function back. So here is our original function. 
or our original equation, I should say, because this isn't a function, x equals y squared minus 1. Let's see if we have x-axis symmetry going on here. So instead of the y that's right there, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in negative y. And then we're going to simplify. So that means we get x equals negative y squared is just y squared minus 1. Now we can look at these two and say, are they the same? If they are the same, then we have x-axis symmetry. If they aren't the same, then we do not have x-axis symmetry. And they are the same. They're identical. x equals y squared minus 1. So we have x-axis symmetry. Let's move on to our last type. This is symmetry about the origin. So again, the origin is right here at 0, 0. We have a point anywhere up in quadrant 1. See, this is comma 1, comma 1. Then if this exhibits symmetry about the origin, then we should be able to find the corresponding point, which would be the negative of that point, which would be negative 1, negative 1. Down in the bottom, or in the third quadrant, and we should be able to connect these two points with a line that goes through the origin. So the test for this is to substitute in a negative x for x and to substitute in a negative y for y. So we're just we're doing both variables now. And then simplify and see if we get the same equation back. So here's our original equation, x equals y squared plus 1. And instead of having an x and a y, we're going to throw in there negative x and negative y. And we'll simplify. So the negative x just stays the same. The negative y squared becomes y squared. And we're done with our simplification. So the question is, are these two the same? The original and the one after the simplification once we plugged in negative x and negative y. So if we look at them, we see the y squared plus 1 is identical, but the one on the left has a negative, or the one on the right, excuse me, has a negative x, and the one on the left just has an x without the negative. So these are not the same. So we do not have symmetry about the origin. Hopefully this was helpful to you and gave you kind of a glimpse into the different types of symmetry and the test algebraically to find out if an equation you're given has those different types of symmetry. If it was helpful, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.